You're listening to Cave Over Digital, the podcast. Bula and welcome to the Cave Over Rugby podcast. I'm Carlton Kamir. For those of you who don't know, Cave Over Rugby has been around as Fiji's highest selling rugby magazine or magazine in any form since 1999. Forced into hibernation since early 2020 by COVID-19, we've just emerged to launch TaveOverRugby.com in mid-February 2022. So enjoy it and thanks for joining us. This is my podcast number five, Gouging. Since no one else has said anything, I just have to get this little whinge off my chest and address the elephant in the room, gouging. Why are the ticket prices for the Fijian Drua versus Highlanders Super Rugby Pacific game in Suva on 30th April so expensive? Compared to all other Super Rugby Pacific games in Australia and New Zealand, they are exorbitant to say the least. And they're being played at way better stadiums with nearly all having bucket seats and roof cover over there in New Zealand and Australia. Surely, for their first ever home game in Fiji, you would have thought the pricing would have been set to encourage and allow the families and Matangali of each Fijian Drua player to come along and celebrate. But no, there's not even a special ticket price for families. The pricing is ridiculously high for adults, $30 and children under 12, $15 on the grass or $75 for anyone on the cement embankment, both uncovered and very uncomfortable in the wind and rain, which is typical of Suva, not to mention the $150 to $185 for the grandstand. The Mara 7 ticket prices last weekend on day three Saturday were $8 for the ground, $12 for the cement embankment and $25 for the grandstand. The Blues versus Moana Pacific game at Eden Park just on Saturday was $15 to $30 a ticket for adults. The price of tickets for Fiji and Drua Super Rugby Pacific games in Australia only cost up to $25 for children and uh, adults and children under 14 free. And these are in much more superior stadiums. And this includes the Fijian and Drua playing in a double header. Are they playing here on 30th April as well? I don't think so. The crazy thing is this. This is our team, the people of Fiji's team. The Fijian Drua literally belongs to the people of Fiji after the government of the day paid $6 million of our money as as taxpayers for 41% of the FRU company that owns the Fijian Drua. I'll revisit that $6 million payment for 51% of the Fijian Drua another podcast because frankly, it seems a bit rich to me. So where were we? Technically, we, the people of Fiji, whether we like it or not, are shareholders and majority shareholders of, at that of this Fijian Drua team. And it's sad to have to pay such high prices at our first ever Super Rugby Pacific home game of the Fijian Drua here in Fiji. Gouging is what I think it's called when a business forces its customers to pay an unfairly high price for its goods or services just because they can. For the TaveOverRugby.com podcast, I'm Kaldan Kamir. Malo. Bina'a and thank you. Please hit the subscribe link below now if you'd like to receive more news, views and reviews free for the next 12 months as we start charging a small subscription fee from June. Thank you for your support.